Hello and welcome to my F122 driver room we're here today for the Italian Grand Prix here at Monza we have had in the past F1 games some incredible races here we come in to this race after a pretty successful Dutch Grand Prix but before we get into qualifying we did make some changes to the engine and after qualifying I made further changes so we still managed to get the two runs the first run was a lot more successful than the second but we could only manage P16 we didn't improve on the second run so let's go to the race It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again here at the beloved and iconic Autodroma Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. With top speeds up to 215 and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation of one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the Turn 1 chicane. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Fernando Alonso, Sir Lewis Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty and Norris, Mick Schumacher, Vettel, Gasly and Max Verstappen, Sonoda, Ricardo, George Russell and Bottas, Joe, Brown, Lance Stroll and Kevin Magnussen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Albon and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. So as it seems to be every race this year on that game, it's a dull one stop on, starting on the mediums onto the hard tyres. I keep forgetting to show this, I am doing the immersive formation laps and have a pretty stinky one there and get boxed in by Latifi. But anyway, let's go to the Italian Grand Prix. Can it produce a classic as I like to go out and we're underway. Fernando P4, the two Ferraris have got to keep it clean at home soil, going down into the first corner, but we just have to send it to the inside, and we've got forced off the track there, we had to avoid Magnussen, and now on the exit, we have three wide just about, we're side by side with K-Mag, through the curve of Grande we go, we've lost out to the Danish driver, but can we have a go now into the second chicane? Yes, we can. We've nearly we've had to swerve to the right to avoid hitting the back of the McLaren. We get past Pierre and Gasly in the Alpha Tari as well there. So coming out of the final chicane, we've got wide and now Gasly might be able to have a go at us again. And he does. And he does keep that position but we're gonna try and keep the line around the outside of the parabolica or whatever they renamed it to but unfortunately we've ended up losing out to Magnus and trying to keep it around the outside of Gasly there as Magnuson now has a look at being Gasly as Magnuson has locked up there and we can do the cut back here and try and re-overtake the Danish driver we're going to go to the outside we have got pretty decent exit off of the first chicane and now into the second chicane down the inside we do re-overtake Magnussen and now through the last moves we go this is Lando Norris in a great position or he was till he dropped it and to the first Lesmo is a beautiful pirouette, 10 out of 10 but it's not what he wanted after pretty good result it's Pete Gasly now on the back of Mitch Schumacher we managed 
Let's do that. Trying to get past a thousand red bullet mines for stepping just up the road. And now, look at this. With this full five of us, we are on the back of Gasly. Stuck to this next train. And we're gonna send it down the inside. This Vettel locks up to give us the room. There's Ricardo. We go off the track. We've lost out to the McLaren. And now, can Vettel have a look? We've just overtaken four cars there. Now Vettel is going to come back at us, he can block the left, right and centre last time out and we do stay ahead of the German driver and now we can get after Daniel Ricciardo Also I thought we were just keeping Vettel at jabbing distance and Ricciardo the straight line speed of that McLaren is in the background Sebastian Vettel is locked up and this is the second time this race and he did that twice last time out in Zamfor as well he's now on the back of us, this is Mick Schumacher thought about it to the inside but we did manage to finally get on the back of Daniel Ricciardo we are going to set him up for the turn but he's He's locked up and we get him round the outside and try to set him up going through the gap with Grande but that didn't matter because he locked up and we forced a mistake because now here's the two Ferraris doing exactly what the home Tifosi would want a Ferrari 1-2 into the, his carriage again and Charles Leclerc the most consistent man so far has dropped it and he's stuck on the grass there must be a little bump there and he's stuck on it and that has brought out the safety car and we are going to pit to make our one and only stop and try and get the hard tyres to the end of the Grand Prix Charles Leclerc of course on a 6 race winning streak and now he's not running the time for him to start making mistakes and that's the only thing with him he has got a mistake in him as hard times go on and we've lost out to make Schumacher so we're gonna have to re-overtake Schumacher who I feel like we end up battling in every race this season as Fernando Alonso leads the Grand Prix as he stayed out I'm guessing because we Mark wanted us to pit, he had to stay out, but there was quite a big gap in terms of time between Fernando and and me, so he's going to put himself right down at the back when the race restarts in just a second and when he has to make a stop because everyone else can pretty much get these hard tyres to the end of the race now as the safety car comes in and Fernando controls the pace and he's going to wait right to the line and Fernando has gone and he's got Carlos Sainz behind him Fernando goes he's one the in the Ferrari and Pagiers and now we've all, we're going to send it down the inside and we've gained positions there we've got past Leclerc we've got past um, Michel Macca as well and side by side we are through the curve of Grande Leclerc's not giving in we're not giving in Leclerc can't afford to give in into the second chicane but he has to in the end I think Schumacher has just locked up as well and now side by side is pretty much his teacher in Sebastian Vettel and Vettel does get the job done round the outside of the first lane's mode as here comes Charles Leclerc again if he wants to keep up his winning streak and make it a seventh but in a row he has to get past us and he locks up and that lock up trying to steal it and then it affect me trying to go round the outside but side by side again you can see in the background George has made his way through in the background as we are challenging the top boys here in 
Here are ones that are down the inside though. We stay ahead of Charles Leclerc. And he must be getting very, very frustrated in that Ferrari. It's from the lead then. Fernando Alonso makes his one and only stop. And that is going to drop him right to the back of, of the field. As Charles Leclerc then is coming again at us. And this time he looks to have got us. But we're going to go to the outside of him. And Charles Leclerc goes a bit wide again, we force him out again and now George has seen his chance and they're going to be side by side through the curve of Grande and Charles Leclerc after the second Lesmo has gone wide and he's making so many mistakes here he must be getting frustrated he's got so used to not seeing anyone in front of him and he's lost out to make Schumacher, as well as George and make Schumacher, it's just overtaken Leclerc and George. And now look at everyone jostling for position. It's like the slipstream, the DRS stream. It's just brilliant here. Let's look at the amount of cars in the fight. Here comes George to the inside. I mean, Schumacher saved them pretty wide. But Charles Leclerc just back out of it. I mean, Schumacher tries to hold the line round the outside of George. But George gets the exit out of the chicane and now gets away. And now it's only a matter of time before Charles Leclerc re overtakes the house. And now round the outside in the the garage again. And now Charles is on the back of George. It's only lap 14. This is turning into an incredible race. As the Claire round the outside of the parabolica. We've gone a bit wide there. But the Claire couldn't do it and he's gonna have to tuck back in the Mercedes slipstream. That Ferrari is slippery in a straight line. It's to the outside he goes. George is going to send him the long way round. Charles like keeps his foot in. Has the inside line but couldn't get the exit he needed. Now George is going to have a look at us. Into the second chicane. He's on the inside of us. And that's job done on us he has. Very nice, thank you, around the outside there, as we've got wide up in the wheel on the gravel. And now, Charles Leclerc, on our outside, even though we've still got the DRS from George, touching that gravel, has meant that we've lost the position to Leclerc. And now, we're left battling Mick Schumacher again, who I feel like we, we somehow always seem to find on the racetrack this season in one way or another so here comes Mick Schumacher again is he close enough he thinks about it to the inside to the outside we block him off now Charles is just too far back to overtake George here and now it's all the, the all important exit as we go through the curve of Grande it looks like the is too far back and don't think Mick Schumacher is there on us. No, he's not. As he goes to the outside. I mean, he's going to force him wide. But we didn't need to. Because Mick Schumacher has gone straight on at the second chicane. And locked up. And that's, some re that's relieved some pressure off of us. As Leclerc finally gets past George Russell. But he's locked up and going straight on. At the chicane, so many lockups in this race, and now we've seen our chance to rotate the Ferrari. Charles Leclerc, after being so consistent, is making so many mistakes today. On the outside, we forced Leclerc round the outside. We tried to go Leclerc, though. We've sent him to the absolute shops, and we do rotate. The Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. And now Leclerc, it's only a matter of time that Ferrari is quicker. We try and force him to the inside, we're going to squeeze him to the inside. 
into the first game. We go round, but Charles Leclerc has tapped us round, and he sat there in the middle of the track. And we've spun back round and we stayed ahead. And now, Mitch Schumacher, everyone is just ghosting through everyone. Everyone's just sat there, don't really know what's going on here. Everyone's just ghosting. And that's really makes up the order, and that's brought out the second safety car of the day. And here it is, and to the inside, into, and it just taps us around, probably a bit aggressive by me. There. And then Leclerc just sits there, and everything happens behind him. Somehow, this is Bottas, and he hits Vettel, and Vettel's done a little. I don't even know what to do with that, he's doing a little bunny hop and that crash has actually made Vettel and Magnussen come off wise because they both have 5 second time penalties now how many if I have worked that one out I don't know but we're currently in P7 and we could we could well benefit from the same car that we caused but there's still a long way to go in this race. Four laps is a lot here in Monza. As Carlos Sainz leaves, then it's Hamilton, then it's Max, and now we are on the bank, straight on the bank of George Russell. We send it down the inside. That's Vettel and um, Verstappen, who is locked up and squeezed. And um, Hamilton, just off the track, we've gone wide. Verstappen leads his battle from from Hamilton, from George, then we come through and now heading down into the second chicane here's George, we're gonna send it down inside Verstappen has locked up again and we have tapped the front wing it seems of of Verstappen and we have gone from 7th to 3rd here and can we get our first podium of the career mode what a couple of corners that was, a seven car battle for the lead for a brief moment. Here he comes, the snapping on us again. Science had disappeared in that, in that fight. Then just go up the reins, the snapping tries to go to the inside. And now, he makes a small little lock up again and that's George on the inside. But George didn't do anything just now. Look at the traction! Of our Red Bull of the, the second Les mate. And Verstappen, that Red Bull, just like in real life, is mighty. And but we do defend to the outside and our George may have a look at the Red Bull, the current world champion that is nowhere near the title this year. He's even behind his teammate and they're four wide three wide. Three wide through the power Bollinger, Verstappen has gone through the middle. You've never seen anything like it as my voice dies. Leclerc has gained two places. Verstappen wants that, po wants that third place back. The yellow flags ahead. Have to see what happens because Lewis Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton's engine has blown from P2, which promotes us to P2 in the Grand Prix. It's getting better and better for us today after we started P16 to the inside. Leclerc gets past Verstappen, and these two are just battling it. Battling each other, allowing us to get away. Science is in a different track, is that far up the road. As Verstappen locks up, forces Leclerc wide. Leclerc, though, keeps it pinned. He wants the podium, final podium place for the Defosi. He's won here before Leclerc. That's not happening today unless something very dramatic happens in these last few corners. But here comes Leclerc to the outside, from the outside the stepping backs out and that he does not want to do side by side free out corner now. He made him under threat from George Russell. But Carlos Sainz, for the first time since Australia, wins a Grand Prix. But that no one cares about that because we are gonna come over to that first 
podium of the Grand Mode. Here's our winner, pulling their Ferrari into Park Ferme then. What a fantastic race. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. A race, what an Italian Grand Prix! I don't know what it is with me and this track, but it somehow always produces a classic. Science wins for the Defosi. We get our first podium on the career mode, Albi's first podium since Fernando at Qatar in 2021, of course, has no relevance to the career mode, but it's in a stat. And with that really puts us in the hunt for best of the rest with our teammate and Bottas just up the road and taking us away from Lando and helped us massively in the constructors as Lando unfortunately that staying out in the first safety car has not helped him one single bit but if you have enjoyed this race easy the best race of the season so far and the career mode mods are always producing classic make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you under the floodlights of singapore goodbye